Hello. Wait, wait, wait. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good night, darling. Hello. Hello. Hi, ha. Okay. Hello. Are you done eating dinner? Yes, I'm done eating dinner. Okay, all right. Because this time we are going to continue our test and that is we will be using now the speaking test, okay? Mm -hmm. It's a speaking test, so therefore I'm going to listen you speak, okay? <laughs> Don't be shy, okay? Can you, uh, let's have a warm up first. Touch your forehead. <laughs> Raise your hand. Touch your ears. Touch your mouth or lips. Shake. Shake your hand. And smile. <laughs> All right, good job. So this time we will do the speaking test, okay? So this, since this is a speaking test, before we start, I'm going to ask you some questions. And here it is. Tell me about your day. First question. Here. Tell me about your day. My day is 
Sunday is boring and Sunday is funny. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Today I'm doing my homework. And I study math, mm -hmm. history, Vietnamese, and uh, geography in the computer. Okay, next question. Tell me about your hobbies. My hobby. My hobby is playing badminton because it's good for me and run safe. Okay, so aside from playing badminton, do what are what other sports do you do? What I other like sports do you play? I don't play anymore. Oh, I see. But what um can you tell me what are the sports sports that you like? Sports? Yes, sports that you like. I like badminton. That's it? You only like badminton? Yes. <laughs> okay. Good job. Now this time we will proceed to the next slide, okay? You're going to find the difference between the two pictures. So this is picture one and this is picture two. Now you're going to tell me what are the difference? In picture one, in the island has a Blue, so, but in mm -hmm. picture B, in picture two is red boat. Okay, the boat. This one, blue and red. What else? In picture one, there's a monkey in the tree, but in picture two is under the tree. Okay, what else? In picture one is, is sunny, but in picture two is rainy. Okay, good job. What else? In picture one is has two trees, but in picture two is only one. Okay. What else? Are there any differences between the two pictures? I don't know what, what it is. Okay, uh, you can call it alien. Okay, it, that's an alien. Alien. Mm -hmm. In picture one, there's an alien. And in picture two, there's a pirate. Okay, so those are the difference of between the two pictures, okay? Good job, huh? I'm going to give you 10 points on that. Okay, now let's continue. This time, you're going to tell a story, okay? Tell a story based on the picture that you see. Mm -hmm. Can you do it? Look at the first picture. Okay, can you tell me what happened in that picture? There is a woman on the chair and in her cat and dog. Okay, the, what did the, what does the cat do? The cat is sleeping. And there's a what the, what's the color of the dog? The dog is white, but it has a spot. 
Okay. So, what happened on the second picture? So, Ted is climbing a tree. Why? Why do you think the cat is climbing the tree? Because the dog... <laughs> the dog is... Is the, the dog is chasing the cat. Okay. Now, what happened on the third picture? The third picture. The cat is in the tree. So? And the woman called a helicopter to help a cat. And what where did the dog go? What is the dog doing in the picture? The dog is look at the helicopter. Okay. Now, for the last picture, what happened? The helicopter has her cat and the woman is very happy. Alright, very good, huh? So this time I'm going to give you 15 points, okay? So your total score now is 25, okay? Now let's continue. Find the different ones, okay? This in this picture, okay. Example. Banana, cake, pineapple and orange. Which picture is different? The cake is different. It's the cake. Okay, very good. Number 2. Hamburger, ice cream, steak, or chicken? The ice cream. It's the ice cream. Good job. Number three. The doll, kite. Is it a milk or bowl? Milk. Milk. A milk. Okay, very good. Huh? Next question. Dolphin, cat. Shark and whale. The cat. All right, the cat is different. So therefore, I'm going to add you four points. Your total score now is 25. Now let's continue. Oh, so that's the end of the speaking test. Okay, so in the speaking test, you get 29 points. So this time, we will proceed to the next material. Okay. Wait for me. I'm going to change into listening test. Prepare your pen and your notebook, okay? All right, here it is. Do you have your pen and your notebook now? Okay, this is listening and speaking part one okay this is five points ha huh? i want you to write part one and write numbers from one to five part wait part one then one oh no uh, it's okay you're just going to make a line okay um nine? Yes, you're going to make a line. Do you have a mouse? Because I'm going to share you the mouse later after um, after listening the recording, okay? I want you to take note where is Sarah, where is Jane, where is Jill, where is Betty, where is Emma, okay? And remember what are they doing because you're going to make a line just like the example. Katty, okay, look at Katty. This is Katty. 
So you're going to find later on where is Sarah, Jane, Jill, Betty, and Emma. So I want you to listen carefully. I, am, I will play the recording twice, okay? So let's start. Part one. Listen and look. There is one example. Is that Katie there, near the tree? Yes, it is. Look, she's jumping very high. Yes, she's very good at jumping. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Who's that girl running in the ring? The one who's winning? Yes. I think that's Jane. You're right. It is Jane. Sarah under the tree. She looks tired. Is Sarah the girl who's sleeping then? Yes. She's tired because she's running three races today. You know the girl who's the gold cup? The gold cup? Yes. Oh yes, I know her. Her name's Helen. Oh no! Someone in the race has fallen over. Oh, yes. It's Emma. Is she okay? Yes. Look, she's smiling. She's fine. Someone is helping the girl who's fallen over. Who is it? I think it's Betty. Yes, it is. She always helps people if she can. Now listen to part one again. Who's that girl running in the race? The one who's winning? Yes. I think that's Jane. You're right. It is Jane. Look at Sarah under the tree. She looks tired. Is Sarah the girl who's sleeping then? Yes. She's tired because she's running three races today. Do you know the girl who's won the gold cup? The gold cup? Yes. Oh yes, I know her. Her name's Helen. Oh no! Someone in the race has fallen over. Oh yes, it's Emma. Is she okay? Yes. Look, she's smiling. She's fine. Someone is helping the girl who's fallen over. I think it's Betty. Yes, it is. She always helps people if she can. That is the end of part one. Mm -hmm. Do you want to listen one more time? Yes, I will listen one more time. Okay. There is one example. Is that Katie there, near the tree? Yes, it is. Look, she's jumping very high. Yes, she's very good at jumping. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Who's that girl running in the race? The one who's winning? Yes. I think that's Jane. You're right, it is Jane. Sarah under the tree. She's tired. Is Sarah the girl who's sleeping then? Yes. She's tired because she's running three races today. Do you know the girl who's won the gold cup? The gold cup? Yes. Oh yes, I know her. Her name's Helen. Oh no! Someone in the race has fallen over. Oh, yes. Emma, is she okay? Yes. Look, she's smiling. She's fine. Someone is helping the girl who's fallen over. Who is it? I think it's Betty. Yes, it is. 
to do it. Now listen to part one again. Who's that girl running in the race? And who's me? Yeah. I think that's Jane. You're right. It is Jane. Look at Sarah under the tree. She looks tired. Is Sarah the girl who's sleeping then? Yes. She's tired because she's running three races today. You know the girl who's won the gold cup? The gold cup? Yes. Oh yes, I know her. Her name's Helen. Oh no! Someone in the race has fallen over. Oh yes, it's Emma. Is she okay? Yes, look, she's smiling. She's fine. Someone is helping the girl who's fallen over. Who is it? I think it's Betty. Yes, it is. She always That is the end of part one. All right. This time I'm going to share. Oh, wait. Are you ready with your answers? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to share you the mouse. Okay. And you're going to make a line just like this. Okay. All right. I'm sharing with you the mouse now. So. Can you move the mouse? Try to move the mouse. Okay, now make a line. Okay, wait. All right. I'm going to check your answer, okay? Wait, wait, wait. This is five points, so let's check. Mm -hmm. Jane and the girl who's winning the race. Okay, very good. Sarah and the girl who's sleeping under the tree. Helen is the girl with the gold cup. Emma, the girl who's falling down. And... Betty and the girl who's helping Emma. Wow, you get it all correctly, huh? Mm -hmm, good job, right? Part one, score is five points. Okay, now this time let's proceed to part two. This is also five points, okay? Remember the year, the month they met, okay? Remember this question from one to five, okay? Month they met, husband's name, where she met her husband, how old when they met, and what their hobby. Okay, listen carefully. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. When did you meet your husband, Mrs. Hill? It was in 1947, so that's 50 years ago. Fifty years is a long time. Yes. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Did you meet in the summer? No, it was in the autumn, in November. Oh, was the weather okay? Yes, it was a beautiful sunny day. Good. What's his first name? It's William. That's 
W I L L I A M. Okay. Where did you meet him? Do you remember? Yes, I do. We met at our school. Oh, so you were very young when you met. Yes, we were only eleven years old, but we weren't friends at the beginning. Why not? Why not? Well, we didn't like doing the same things. Then, when we were older, we had the same favourite hobby, and we were more friendly after that. What was your favourite hobby? We liked going fishing in the lake near our village. That's nice. Do you still go fishing together? Yes, we go a lot in the summer. Now listen to part two again. Did you meet in the summer? No, it was in the autumn, in November. Oh, was the weather okay? Yes, it was a beautiful sunny day. Good. What's his first name? It's William. That's W I L L I A M. Okay. Where did you meet him? Do you remember? Yes, I do. We met at our school. Oh, so you were very young when you met? Yes. We were only eleven years old. But we weren't friends at the beginning. Why not? Why not? Well, we didn't like doing the same things. Then, when we were older, we had the same favourite hobby, and we were more friendly after that. What was your favourite hobby? We liked going fishing in the lake near our village. That's nice. Do you still go fishing together? Yes. We go a lot in the summer. That is the end of part two. I'm going to listen to part two again. All right. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. When did you meet your husband, Mrs. Hill? It was in 1947, so that's 50 years ago. 50 years is a long time. Yes. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Did you meet in the summer? No, it was in the autumn, in November. Oh. Was the weather okay? Yes, it was a beautiful sunny day. Good. What's his first name? It's William. That's W I L L I A M. Okay. Where did you meet him? Do you remember? Yes, I do. We met at our school. Oh. So you were very young when you met. Yes, we were only eleven years old, but we weren't friends at the beginning. Why not? Why not? Well, we didn't like doing the same things. Then, when we were older, we had the same favourite hobby, and we were more friendly after that. What was your favourite hobby? We liked going fishing in the lake near our village. That's nice. Do you still go fishing together? Yes, we go a lot in the summer. Now listen to part two again. Okay, you're done. Now, what is the answer for number one? The month that they met? It's in November. Very good. And what is he, her husband's name? William. William. Where did she meet her husband? 
Okay, how old when they met? And what are their happy? All right, very good. Huh? You got it all correctly. Now write your score for part two. You got five points. Okay, now this time, let's proceed to part three. You're going to listen and write a letter in the box. There is one example. The people who live in their flats get up at different times, okay? At what time does its person get up? Now, there is an example here for the businessman. The businessman gets up at letter D. Okay, look at letter D, 9.15, okay? So, you're going to find out the mechanic, university student, nurse, astronaut, and the policewoman. This is also five points. So, listen carefully. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. The people who live in the flats all get up at different times. At what time does each person get up? Oh, I had to get up so early this morning. Me too. But the person who lives in the flat next to ours gets up very late. He's a businessman, but he often works at home. He's got an office there. He gets up at a quarter past nine. Wow, that is late. Can you see the letter D? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. The policewoman who lives in the downstairs flat goes running before she goes to work. She gets up at five to seven every morning. I hear her in her kitchen sometimes. Making coffee? I don't know. If another person gets up earlier than me, she's a nurse, so she has to be at the hospital at a quarter to eight. She gets out of bed at ten past seven. She told me. Is she nice? Yes, I like her a lot. Who else do you know in the flat? There's a mechanic who lives on the first floor. He gets up at about 20 past eight, then has a shower every day. I hear him in the bathroom. He catches the bus at 10 to nine, like me. Do you know, one of the people there is an astronaut. No. Well, he says he is. We don't know. He gets up the earliest. I hear his clock sometimes at half past six. I couldn't get up that early. On most days, I'm still dreaming then. Me too. Doesn't someone from the university live there too? You mean Lucy. She's a student there. What time does she get up? At about eight o'clock or five past, something like that. I'm not sure. She lives at the top of the house. All we hear is her music. Oh... Now listen to part three. Okay, so you're not going to listen again? No. All right. So what time did the mechanic get up? I no, I want to listen again. Oh, you, you're going to listen again. Oh, wait, I'm sorry because I didn't hear you. Wait, wait. I'm going to play it. The police. One example. The people who live in the flats all get up at different times. At what time does each person get up? Oh, I had to get up so early this morning. Me too. But the person who lives in the flat next to ours gets up very late. He's a businessman, but he often works at home. He's got an office there. He gets up at a quarter past nine. Wow, that is late. Can you see the letter D? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. 
The policewoman who lives in the downstairs flat goes running before she goes to work. She gets up at five to seven every morning. I hear her in her kitchen sometimes. Making coffee? I don't know. Who gets up earlier than me? She's a nurse, so she has to be at the hospital at a quarter to eight. She gets out of bed at ten past seven. She told me. Is she nice? Yes, I like her a lot. Who else do you know in the flat? There's a mechanic who lives on the first floor. He gets up at about twenty past eight, then has a shower every day. I hear him. He catches the bus at ten to nine, like me. No, it's an astronaut. No. Yeah. No. He gets up the earliest. I hear his clock sometimes at half past six. I couldn't get up that early. On most days, I'm still dreaming. Then. Me too. Doesn't someone from the university live there too? You mean Lucy? She's a student there. What time does she get up? At about eight o'clock or five past, something like that. I'm not sure. She lives at the top of the house. All we hear is her music. Oh. Now listen to part three again. The policewoman who lives in the downstairs flat goes running before she goes to work. She gets up at five to seven every morning. I hear her in her kitchen sometimes. Making coffee? I don't know. There's another person who gets up earlier than me. She's a nurse. So she has to be at the hospital at a quarter to eight. She gets out of bed at ten past seven. She told me. Is she nice? Yes, I like her a lot. Who else do you know in the flat? There's a mechanic who lives on the first floor. He gets up at about twenty past eight, then has a shower every day. I hear him in the bathroom. He catches the bus at ten to nine, like me. Do you know, one of the people there is an astronaut. No. Well, he says he is. We don't know. He gets up the earliest. I hear his clock sometimes at half past six. I couldn't get up that early. On most days, I'm still dreaming. Then. Me too. Doesn't someone from the university live there too? You mean Lucy? She's a student there. What time does she get up? At about eight o'clock or five past, something like that. I'm not sure. She lives at the top of the house. All we hear is her music. Oh. That is the end of part three. Did you get all the answers? You want to listen one more time? Yes, I want to listen one more time. Okay, one last chance. Okay, listen carefully. I can listen. Part three. Listen and look. Here is one example. The people who live in the flat all get up at different times. At what time does each person get up? Oh, I had to get up so early this morning. Me too. But the person who lives in the flat next to ours gets up very late. He's a businessman, but he often works at home. He's got an office there. He gets up at a quarter past nine. Wow, that is late. Can you see the letter D? 
Now you listen and write a letter in each box. The policewoman who lives in the downstairs flat goes running before she goes to work. She gets up at five to seven every morning. I hear her in her kitchen sometimes. Making coffee? I don't know. There's another person who gets up earlier than me. She's a nurse, so she has to be at the hospital at a quarter to eight. She gets out of bed at ten past seven. She told me. Is she nice? Yes, I like her a lot. Who else do you know in the flats? There's a mechanic who lives on the first floor. He gets up at about twenty past eight, then has a shower every day. I hear him in the bathroom. He catches the bus at ten to nine, like me. Do you know, one of the people there is an astronaut. No. Well, he says he is. We don't know. He gets up the earliest. I hear his clock sometimes at half past six. I couldn't get up that early. On most days, I'm still dreaming. Then. Me too. Doesn't someone from the university live there too? You mean Lucy? She's a student there. What time does she get up? At about eight o'clock or five past, something like that. I'm not sure. She lives at the top of the house. All we hear is her music. Oh. Now listen to part three again. The policewoman who lives downstairs flat is running before she. You now. I'm ready. All right. Let's check. What time did the mechanic um get up? What job? Mechanic. Uh, the man who wears the blue shirt. Yes. No answer is I. Eight fifty. She gets up at wait. five to seven every it's morning. Eight. I hear her in her kitchen wait. sometime. Let's listen again, okay? Making coffee. Get up so early this morning. Me too. But the person who lives in the flat next to ours gets up very late. He's a businessman, but he often works at home. He's got an office there. He gets up at a quarter past nine. Wow, that is late. Can you see the letter D? And write a letter in each box. The policewoman who lives in the downstairs flat okay, let's is start running. Okay, the policeman. Policewoman. What time did the policewoman get up? Nine. C. Letter C. Okay. Next. Wait. Before she goes to work. She told me. Nice. Yes, at the first floor. He gets up at about twenty past eight, then has a shower every day. Bed at ten mechanic. past. The mechanic gets up at eight twenty. Okay, and what Seven. about he told the university me. student? He catches the bus at ten to nine. Who else do you know in the flats? There's a mechanic who lives on the first floor. He gets up the earliest. Do you know, one of the people there is an astronaut. Okay, yeah. the astronaut. What time the astronaut get up? The is B. B. Okay. Next. Oh, well. Two. Doesn't from the university. Uh, university student. 
answer is F. F. Okay, and the last one, the nurse. The answer is E. E. E or A? E. e. This one? Yes. Okay. So let's check, okay? A mechanic is H. University student F. E, nurse. Astronaut B and police woman. Oh, police woman is letter G. It's six fifty-five. But your answer is seven forty-five. Okay. Uh, it's okay, huh? In this activity, you get a score of four over five. Okay. For part three, you get four over five. So your total score now for part one to three is fourteen over fifteen. So remember your course okay we are going to continue this on our next class all right okay because it's already time let's continue this test on our notes that would be on Monday okay all right see you again on Friday huh Bye bye. Okay, your score in speaking test is 29. Okay, 29 for the speaking test. And for the listening, you got 14. But we're still going to continue it on Friday. So goodbye for now. See you again on Friday. Okay, Um, I think I gave a homework last meeting and I didn't receive any uh, homework that you submit. It's about a uh, best friend, like, right? You're going to describe your best friend. I can hear you. Can you speak again? Okay, wait. I'm, go I'm just going to give you a chat. All right, wait. My new friend or my friend. Oh yes, that's about your friend. Ask your mom, mm -hmm. okay? Because I post the homework to F, to our FB group, Pantado PK one one nine, okay? Tell her to read the homework. And upload your homework on our FB group, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll see you again on Friday, huh? Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, good night.